Hi guys, Ruben Lenten here. And in today's video, I would like to talk you through the Ozone Edge V11 opposed to the Enduro V4, which just came out and had a complete redesign. Obviously, as a big air lover, I've been riding the Ozone Edge for the past two years and I've been absolutely loving this beast. What a speed riding machine and super efficient to get huge jumps and very good hang time and still a massive powerful loop. I love it. The Enduro V4, also very cool kite, but definitely for more disciplines, more conditions. So if you want something more than just big air, you want to free ride, you want to wave ride and foil and just learn some wake style maybe, then definitely the Enduro V4 suits your riding style better. A very exciting day and I cannot wait to show you the session we are gonna have in a bit. But who better to get involved in this Edge versus Enduro shoot than Jamie Overbeek himself. 16 year old and he just got second at the Red Bull King of the Air with some phenomenal riding, absolutely insane action. And he actually used the Edge and the Enduro boat. So I really want to pick his brain and see what he prefers most. So let's dive into this. I'm Jamie Overbeek. I'm from the Netherlands and I'm 16 years old. The perfect setup for me is definitely the seven Edge on 23 meter lines and the shortest steering line setting. You can change the steering line setting at the bar from Ozone. It's under the floater. You can pull the floater forward and then you can change the setting. There are three knots and yeah, just choose the shortest. That's my setting and you will go the biggest. I'm looking forward to compare the both kites, the Edge V11 and the Enduro V4 with the sp uh, speed from the kite, uh, the height that you can get on it and the air time that you can get on both kites. And at last, the stability, because that's, so, uh, that's also really important. I recommend the Edge V11 for uh, people that just want to go the biggest, the highest and uh, the most air time. And I recommend the Enduro V4 for people that just want a big yank in their kite loop, an easy kite to fly and a kite that you can take out whatever the conditions. <laughs> Super stable, it is such an easy kite. super good and let's see what we can do yeah the conditions are building nicely classic Cape Town with a nice tablecloth going on perfect for the eight meters so let's send them
that was a really fun session to be out there with Jamie. The wind was pumping quite good, and we got to test the 8 meter edge versus the uh, enduro. How would you find the enduro? Yeah, it was really quick, really easy, and just a super playful kite to fly. Yeah, I mean, what I was feeling is that the edge has way more lift, way more power, it's a bit more aggressive. So that might be for the more intermediate to advanced riders. And the enduro might be more for? Yeah, for the intermediate riders and the riders that just want the kite that do, uh, does it all and yeah, just uh, have a kite that can handle in every conditions. And it won't punish you as hard as the edge, so if you want to play and learn more things and really enjoy every discipline, then go for the Enduro V4 and otherwise we will see you on the moon with yeah. the edge.